Okay, and off we go again. This time to create the vaccine so you can save Sherry. Okay, no more liquors here, so we are safe. We can just run around carelessly. Any more plants here? I don't think so. Okay, our destination is through the Blue Bridge. Since we now have an access cards. But let's take a quick look over here first. We can open this. And there it is, the culture room. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, so remember when I said that we were going to see what's inside? Well, I lied. Well, not, uh, not exactly, but... Uh, you can only enter this room in Scenario B. And only if you registered your fingerprint with both characters in both scenarios. So we won't be going in there for a while. Okay, no more need for these cards. Let's see what's inside. Zombies, of course. Not just any kind of zombies. Uh, no, not this. Not just any kind of zombies. Lab zombies. Ah, screw it. Let's see, we can turn on the light switch. I don't have any time to wait. Oh! actually grabbed me. You bastards. Oh, one more still. Come on. I don't have time for this. I have to save Sherry. Here we have the Modisk. Let's see. That, this is the VAM activator machine. Uh, where do I turn it on? Is it here? Ah, there we go. Luckily, this process is all automated. So there's no need for Claire to know science. Alright, we have the base vaccine. So our destination is the P4 laboratory in the lower levels once more. Okay, over here. And then we can leave once we have the vaccine, since we entrusted Sherry to Leon. Ah, more zombies. How many grenade rounds? Yeah, two grenade rounds. Okay, let's switch to acid rounds, but we won't be using those. Let's finish off these uh, handgun bullets. Or can I do this? Dodge them all? Nice. Okay, this gate is opened, but we need to go through here first. And back to the laboratory we go.
Antoinette's corpse is still there. Amazingly, she hasn't turned into a zombie. Okay, here is the machine. Insert the vaccine. And start the process. And there you have it. You now have the vaccine. Oh, there's a zombie in the way. Let's just wait for him to come a bit closer and... Just go right around him. Alright. We are very close to the end of the game. And you know what that means. It means there's a boss battle. So, no more handguns. Let's take this. Let's also take a lot of healing items and we'll save the game. One last save. Let's get some more healing. Perfect. We are set. It's time to escape this place once and for all. Five minutes until detonation. detonation. At least they give us more time in this game. In the first one they give you, what, three minutes? And uh, one and a half minutes are spent in a cutscene. Which is a bit silly, if you ask me. And here we go. Guess who it is? It's William Birkin, of course. Wait for him to come around the corner. And... Oh! Oh, that... <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Yeah, I can't be that close. Not sure if I hear him there. Ah, I did. Oh, and... Hit me again. This time we're only at caution. Still have some rounds. Come on. You big forearm bastards. Okay, now we're about to die, almost. Wasting a lot of healing on... on this guy. Ah, there we go. You would think so, but not yet. That's not even his final form. Now he's a dog-like creature. Come on, get down from there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Switch the machine gun. A bit quicker to fire. Oh, you... He tricked me. We're almost uh, out of ammo on this machine gun. 
Okay, shoot. I shoot him up there. I can. Not advisable, though. Let's try this again, shall we? I also noticed that um, I had some handgun ammo left in my inventory, so just took an extra healing item. Five minutes until detonation. Let's try and do it this time. He took a lot more damage in the, his first form than I recalled. Let's hope I have enough ammo for this. Okay, here we go again. Let's try not to get hit at all. And just when I say that... There he is. One and two. It's a shame they haven't implemented the... 180 turn in this game. It's only in the next one. That would have been very useful here. And there we go. William Birkin is evolving. Congratulations, your William Birkin has evolved into something. Okay, let's wait for him to come down. And time for the machine gun. It's also a shame we don't get uh, auto aim. Oh, he grabbed me. That's bad. It's also a shame we don't get auto aim in hard modes. Still here. Running a bit low. Let's try and save that one. Almost out of um, ammo for this. Hey, okay, let's uh, combine this and use this. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's our. Just shoot him. Ah, there we go. That was a bit close. But again, I'm of the honest opinion that Claire's weapons suck. Even the grenade launcher. Just don't find them very good. Okay, this is it. This will be the end, so um, I will see you all after the credits. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes.
Sherry's unconscious. I have the antidote. If I give it to her... Claire, what's happening? Not now! Come on, Sherry, wake up! Wake up! Please, wake up! Claire? Where am I? It worked! Oh, Sherry, you're gonna be okay. Thanks, Claire. It's over. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Ah, my god has protected you. It will always be with you. Okay everyone, and here we are, after the credits. We got ranking B, mostly due to... Let's see, what are the factors? Uh, the ranking is our score. So, let's see, the factors are, if you, you use first aid sprays, uh, the time you take, and the number of saves. Ah, and we can... Create our new save for the second scenario with Leon. Okay, everyone. Uh, that's it for Resident Evil 2 with Claire. We will be going with Leon next time. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Hope you have enjoyed.